Hey everybody. Uh, if you've been watching our most recent videos, you've heard me to talk about us setting up a free hosting service for the people who are watching our videos, such as you. Uh, we've got that set up now. Uh, maybe a little rough around the edges, but we wanted to get it up and, and out quickly so that people could start working with dynamic um, development, watching our videos and such, and be able to follow along. And, and we know that not everybody can afford to have a hosting service, uh, and some people might not be comfortable yet with setting up a local server, and that's all fine, and that's why we're going to do this. Um, this is for students or well what we call students any of you guys watching our videos this is this is for you this isn't for really anybody else um, and it's it's strictly for learning we we ask that you don't use this service for selling anything or making any money if you're gonna make money off of your your website uh, please you know go ahead and either buy hosting from us or buy hosting from someone else um, our only other main rule is to you know stay away from inappropriate uh, content um, pornography of any kind won't be won't be acceptable and we'll terminate the account even artistic nudes or things like that even though you know we, we here appreciate art and we're not big fans of censorship but uh, we we want to allow these services to be available for all age groups and you know, just you know, use your head when when putting content up here. Not to mention, our parent hosting company might shut us down should any pornography be on here. I believe it's against their terms of service. But that's it. Um, not too many rules. The uh, the accounts will either you'll be able to set up your own don domain name, um, whether if you've got one registered already or if you want to register one or you're able to set up a free subdomain off of ours which would be something like um, johndoe.devforweb.co along with that you're gonna have 50 megabytes of disk space which, which should be enough for anything we're doing here we'll give you 500 megabytes of bandwidth that should be good enough for you for learning um, and if that doesn't work out we might raise it uh, we're gonna kind of feel that out we're gonna give you two MySQL databases for their, um, to follow along with our videos and, and we try out things on your own and each person will get an instance of the cPanel application which is a great tool for managing your hosting account this will allow you to set up your databases access PHP my admin um, and, and some other things and this account will be 100% free uh, it'll be active for 90 days at which time we'll We'll uh, give you kind of a nudge and say, hey, your 90 days is up. What would you like to do? We're not going to delete your data or anything like that. Um, we'll, we'll hold on to it for a while and we'll make sure to try and get a hold of you to see if you need to retrieve it or if you're wanting to set up a, a paid account with us, which we're going to come up with a, a very, very inexpensive um, account that you can upgrade after the 90 days is up. Um, we try really hard to make everything free here but we are footing the bill for this account so we need to recoup a little bit of our money um, and with that of course donations are always accepted um, if those who have the the means to do so we really appreciate it but as we said this is 100 percent free should you not have those means um, I don't want to take up too much more of your time I just want to walk you through setting this up should you want to use this uh, what you need to do is go to our domain name devforweb.co and this domain name is set up specifically for uh, hosting for us with the digital craft just read through these uh, handful of paragraphs here I have pretty much summarized it already but uh, please do read it and if you agree with it click here and it'll bring you up to our um, hosting portal here uh, at first glance uh, there's a lot of stuff here and none of it's really important at the moment except for order products so if you click on order products you'll see our free student account right now we have uh, we have 15 accounts available and we're just kind of trying it out we want to see if how, how much people are using it and 
whether it's working out, whether we've set it up correctly. Um, and if it becomes popular, we'll, of course, we'll add more. Um, so all you need to do is click order now and either register a new domain, which would be, um, you know, that's up to you to, to buy a domain um, or transfer another domain if you already have a domain somewhere or use an existing domain name. Um, but the recommended method here is to just add a free subdomain off of our um, hosting here. So you can set up something like uh, your name, like John Doe, and your website will be at johndoe.host.devforweb.co. Um, and just hit click to continue. And we're going to ask you a couple of uh, questions. Are you currently watching videos? Yes. You agree to not host any pornography? Yes. And what are you going to use this hosting for? We kind of like to just have a, a brief um, idea of what you're what you're hosting here. You know, there something like that is is just fine. We just want to know what you're using it for, um, and filling it out kind of lets us know that you're you're you know a real person, not some spam um, bot. Um, so after that, all you need to do is click checkout. And it's going to ask you to fill out an account here. Uh, of course, we're not going to use your information for anything else other than, than uh, this here. So just fill this out. Um, make yourself a username and password. This will be your password and username for your hosting account. Um, so this is important to remember. Okay, so once you've filled this out, um, of course, this is all um, dummy data here. But please fill it out correctly. Um, so fill this out and go down here and click complete order. And again, remember this is totally free. You're not going to need to enter in any payment uh, um, options or anything like that. Say complete order. There we go. Um, you'll get a confirmation and order number. Um, at the moment, because we're we're kind of trying this out. Um, we need to activate your account. We're going to try to activate them as soon as, soon as you um, request it. But uh, you know we can't promise that we'll be able to. Uh, if if we seem if this seems to work out pretty good and we don't have any issues with uh, um, people abusing the system, then we may just turn it on automatic, so you don't have to wait for us and you'll automatically get your username and, and everything set up so really quick I'm going to log in um, and activate this account so you can see what you need to do afterwards all right I've gone ahead and activated the account I just set up um, I did realize while doing that that the username and password you set up uh, for here is actually just for this account here it is not for your hosting um, you will get an email um, what's called a welcome email to whatever email address you put in um, that's going to tell you the username and uh, temporary password for um, opening up your account so once you've gotten that email which you should get after we've activated the account okay so once you get that welcome email um, you're gonna get an IP address in there it's going to tell you your login information and all that but um one thing to note is that your domain name may take um a little bit of time to propagate or process um it could take anywhere from an hour to 48 hours so it's worth it to know that your account can actually be located at the ip address given to you in the welcome email slash and then the uh, tilde character um, followed by your username, which your username should be listed in your welcome email as well. Um, and if you see this screen here, then you've set everything up correctly. Um, the reason you're seeing this is because you haven't uploaded a, an index file yet. So once you upload an index file, this will automatically load up your your web page. 
And to access cPanel, you can remove your name here and just type in cPanel and log in with the username as well as the password. So we log in and here's your control panel. Um, it's going to give you this option to kind of have a little get started wizard to help you out. Um, if you don't want to see it again, you can click that. Um, you've got some options here. Some of the uh, options will be disabled. Um, you may not see the same options here, like we've turned off email accounts and things like that because this is really just for testing. Um, but you can come down here and access your databases. You can create new databases and and all that. Just a basic little walkthrough here. Um, if it seems like people are having issues um, setting all this up, then maybe I'll do another video that's a little more in depth. The only thing I want to explain before we uh, end this video is to set up your account, um, say for instance in Dreamweaver, or you need to create a new site and then a new server. And for the host of the server, it's going to be your IP address that's given to you in the welcome email. Your username is going to be the username that they generated for you and password will be the password. And then the only other thing you need to put in is for the root directory, you want to say public underscore HTML and click the test button. And if it says set up successfully, then you're good to go. You can start uploading um, files to the server. So, like I said, if, if I start getting responses that people are having issues or trouble setting this up, um, I'll get a little more in-depth. But uh, I hope everybody has a good time with this and enjoys their free hosting.